All right, so you're an unsuspecting viewer on YouTube and you come across one of the videos on my channel and you load it up and you get something that looks like this. Something I like to dub diarrhea double vision. Um, basically, the reason why this is is because I post 99% of my videos in stereoscopic 3D. That's right, this is a format that contains and preserves depth perception in the video. They can be watched in stereoscopic 3D. Now, the problem we have here is that YouTube are forcing in a player that is inherently broken, not just with 3D, but with a whole bunch of 2D features as well. Now, there's a quick solution to this on my channel, at least. Um, you just scroll down here, pause the video first. You don't want to be watching the diarrhea double view version. Whether you want to watch in 2D or in 3D, pause this video, go down to the description and hit the first link. Now this link will open up a page with a YouTube player in it that will automatically start the video properly. This is a flash YouTube player. It's basically being forced on the page through an embed code. From this player, finally, let's say you want to watch in 2D. You just click the settings button. You go ahead and turn 3D off and the 3D is gone. And you're not getting diarrhea double view. Next thing you can do is use a whole bunch of 3D formats. If I turn 3D back on by pressing here, then I can go to options and pick a whole bunch of different types of 3D options. I like interleaved because interleave matches my monitors. I can actually change the version of interleaving by using the pane above. I can go to that classic old red cyan version. I'm gonna actually push that video forward so you can see what it looks like. The red cyan version is really easy to watch. Now I'm running this at 360p. It can actually be switched if you want to a higher quality just like when you're on YouTube and uh, it really is no big deal to do. So you have the exact same functional functionality as when you're on YouTube because this is being played through YouTube. It's just using the good player, the YouTube player that works properly. So with all of my videos, the process is simple. Instead of trying to watch with the diarrhea double view, with, which is all squished and at the wrong aspect ratio, you just click that first link here. If you just want to skip to a 2D version without any 3D options at all, I still post a daily motion equivalent. Now, I got my share of beef with this terrible HTML5 player. Among other things, when playing 2D videos, sometimes it'll just absolutely stop loading data, or it's actually going to show that it's got data loaded up just stop playing and not be able to start over until you refresh the page. Sometimes it'll go haywire and just take up a few cores of your system. Why not? Um, and often what it'll do is it'll take about 30 years to start playing a video. It's pretty terrible. But there's some really, really, really frustrating issues here. I'll give you an example. Look at how I place this annotation here. I'm placing an annotation in the center. Watch how the brilliant HTML5 player interprets this. I, 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 had to, I had to fiddle with this. This is a joke. This is a complete comedy. I had to actually align this annotation for YouTube's random destruction of my video. Yes, this is the HTML5 player. Um, to align it properly and allow the viewer to freaking read the annotation. There's been issues that are so bad with the video sizing and cropping th on videos that are not even supposed to need this type of heavy crop. They're not even full side by side, which is this is normally an artifact you see on side by full side by side videos. These are half side by side. There's no reason for this to be happening. All right, so remember the procedure. This is really simple. You just go ahead and you pause the video. Then you go to the first link in the description, YouTube Flash version, booyah, and here comes the Flash version. You can even share this link with others, I actually generate one, and this is because I allow people to use this YouTube proper video player enforcer. There's a load another link at the bottom. You can actually go ahead, 
click there, paste the YouTube link right in the text box, and click enforce and play and link me. There you go. You got your flash player back. And this way, 3D can be turned off, it can be turned on, and through the options, it can be watched through a various set of methods. No glasses is pretty cool. You can watch cross-eyed, parallel, mirror split, left only, right only. It's pretty cool. Red cyan, easiest way to watch 3D. So everything's here, really. You get the idea, and you can use this for yourself if you want. Uh, feel free to post links to this player. It's not much resource usage on my part. It's just feeding video through YouTube using the proper player, the one that works correctly, that doesn't lag, doesn't overuse resources, and shows you what the heck you're supposed to be viewing.